What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to talk about uh, Mr. Negative we are going to try to figure out uh, how exactly are we supposed to use this character because I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit confused about the purpose of this character he is a summoner and he's supposed to be paired up with other summoners which block their abilities in a way so it's a little, bit, a little bit strange because we have three summoners on this team and uh, the AI will play it properly but how exactly should uh, the human behavior be on this team and we're also going to talk uh, on a broader perspective on uh, the usefulness of this character for other game modes like uh, Cosmic Crucible like Avengers Tower maybe even uh, in terms of a dark dimension is this character going to be good in any of these game modes we are going to talk about all of that and as always if you like the information on this video make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more marvel strike force content and make sure you smash that like button okay so let's get started let's take a look at my red stars for this guy how i open him with my special secret c theory Okay, so here we go. We are going to open some red star orbs for Mr. Negative and my C theory is not based on spending 400,000 gold. Uh, I don't know how that makes any sense, but uh, it's based on resetting the games. You open a few orbs to see if you get one of those 1% drops and if we do, you open red stars or you open the character shards. If you don't do, you just reset the game, you wait like a few seconds and then you try it again. So you can see that I'm opening one of these milestone orbs. And then we got a purple in the middle, which is very, very rare. It's a 1% drop or even lower than that. So I just opened a few Elite Fours. I was just looking for a 4 star on Mr. Negative. Anything above that, sure, why not? But uh, we don't know how many yellow stars we are going to get. So getting anything beyond 5, it's pretty much pointless. So we open one Elite Four. We got Captain America. We open another Elite Four. We got Gambit. And now we got the finally Elite Four, which has uh, 5 red stars, Mr. Negative. So I'm going to take that and I'll take it home. So now we are going to collect the offers and we are going to open the orbs for this guy to unlock him and uh, we we get average luck it was not amazing we already got the five red stars so anything beyond that is just uh, complementary so we start with a six which is fine Th these orbs have a, a very different animation from the other ones uh, which is strange so you got another six okay let's go uh, when 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 it's about these orb openings, I don't really care for big uh, drops like uh, 60 or 180 or whatever. It doesn't matter to me because I'm lucky enough that I can afford to buy these character offers, and that alone I should be grateful for. And that's it. That's why I don't really care if I get uh, all sixes or uh, all tens. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, we finally got a ten there. And then we get a 12, so it's getting a little bit above average. And then we got another final blue with another drop of 12. Gives us an average of uh, eight and a half, maybe. We got a total of 66 shards on top of the 50 from the offer. And that will allow us to unlock uh, Mr. Negative. So we are going to do just that. We are going to unlock him. So we have 100 shards plus another 20 shards. This is what you're going to get for the Spider-Man Noir event, which is not great. And uh, then we are going to take a look at the abilities of uh, Mr. Negative and uh, see if it's worth investing T4s on, if it's uh, what kind of ISO weight this guy is going to get. But uh, that's it. So there we go. We unlocked Mr. Negative. We were able to get five red stars on him. And that's way, <laughs> way better than any expectations I had. So I'm very happy for it. Okay, so after we unlock uh, Mr. Negative, after we open some red stars for him, I like to gear up characters to level 65 and uh, then to level 75 and this is so you can unlock the isolate blue 
level 3. Now, I have still not upgraded the ISO weight on him yet because I was testing a character before to see if he has enough focus to apply his abilities or not. Now, overall, he has a decent amount of focus. Remember that the guy is level 75 gear tier 14 and 12,000 at this stage is pretty good. Now, in terms of his passive is going to give more hp to himself and this is not a, a t4 that i actually recommend if it was for the entire team great but because it's only for himself it's okay we still don't know exactly where we're going to use this character so i did this t4 by accident it was not on purpose and therefore this is a t4 i don't recommend now the t4 i definitely recommend is the special this ability is very very strong we are increasing the the damage on the primary target and we're also increasing the number of negative effects that we are able to spread to the enemies if you don't have this ability and if i remember correctly you can spread two negative effects yes you can see it right here two random negative effects and when you do the t4 you're going to spread all negative effects this is going to attack the this is going to influence your primary target and also the target with the lowest speed so depending on which team you fa you are facing this might be a very very strong t4 for example in the against the dark hold this is going to influence wong so you can spread ability block and disrupt to wong and that's going to be a big problem for the dark hold so this ability very very interesting this is the only t4 that is definitely worth making now there are a few situations where the ultimate is going to be decent as well he's able to flip three positive effects on the enemies to negative effects and when you do the d4 you go from three positive effects to all positive effects let's be honest there are not that many teams that have more than three positive effects especially on the second turn so this t4 is decent but uh, it's not a must my blitz alarm so this is a nice way of t4 but it's not uh, definitely must have it's something that uh, you down the line can upgrade in case you see yourself facing way too many teams that have a lot of positive effects on turn three keep in mind this is a turn two turn three ability otherwise you should focus on using the special and the basic attack now speaking of basic attack this is definitely a t4 that is not terrible and special because mr negative he has such a high cooldowns on all his abilities so you might see yourself uh, doing the, the basic attack multiple times in case the, the match drags out a little bit which it should not be the case by the way but there is a possibility and uh, if you have this character together with more summoners this ability the basic attack is going to do more damage 20 percent per summoner ally now you are supposed to use this character together with kingpin and nobu and that's very interesting but imagine let's imagine you have this character with ultron let's imagine you have this character with dr doom let's imagine you have this character with hella mm, hella very very interesting so we have a few situations where this character might be extremely useful and his basic attack might be quite powerful depending on which allies you have together with him okay moving on let's talk about the passive so the passive is a summoner but he's not your typical summoner on turn he's going to summon one of his goons and uh, each of these goons have different abilities so we have first uh, the cyclops uh, this is the one i think it comes on spawn and uh, if you do the basic on uh, mr negative that's also going to do the basic d4 on the summoner so it's something important if you do the t4 on uh, mr negative passive you are also going to do it on the minions if you do it on the basic you are also going to do it on the minions so you'll have some additional value of doing the t4 on the basic so with the cyclops uh, he applies heal block for two turns which is pretty decent and he has also some additional effects in alliance wars offense as i mentioned in my previous videos i'm going to completely ignore this type of tags alliance wars offense or alliance wars defense because most of the times those abilities are going to be irrelevant and alliance wars is definitely based on your alliance 
so it's not based on your own gameplay so in my opinion it's uh, it doesn't matter it makes the game mode pretty much irrelevant but yeah you are going to apply yield block for two turns on single target very very powerful if the primary target is a mystic character you are going to reduce the speed buyer of that character by 10 percent so once again this is very very powerful but uh, it depends on which characters you are facing if you are facing dormammu dr doom silver surfer or the dark old this might be a very very good ability let's take a look at the other minions that he has now we have the the demon minion inner demon demon and with with this minion you are going to apply offense down for two turns to the primary target once again another decent ability might be convenient sometimes in alliance wars it also applies stun to the primary target once again this is alliance war so yeah, in Alliance Wars, it's amazing. Outside of Alliance Wars, no one cares. Or uh, Offense Down, it's uh, decent, but it's not super important. In terms of the passive, spawns with the defense up for two turns and applies regeneration to Mr. Negative. And it also reduces the speed bar of all enemies by 10%. So very, very powerful. Now, finally, we have the last summon, which is the Inner Demon Dragon. And with this basic attack, you are going to apply two bleeds to the primary target. You're also going to turn rewind his speed bar by 10%. And like the other minions, this one on death is going to turn rewind the enemies by 10%. But you can see that this one, instead of defense up, is going to get speed up. So that means that each of the minions, they will have specific buffs that will allow them to perform their job better. This, in this case, is going to get speed up, so you can apply bleeds multiple times. The other one is going to get a defense up. Uh, the other one is going to get a defense up. Well, one of them. One of them is going to get defense up, so they, they survive for a longer time. And finally, the last one, the one that applies stun, is going to get offense up, so he has more focus to apply the offense down and to also to apply the, the stun in Alliance Wars. Once again, those buffs don't really matter for me because I like to see the viability of characters outside of Alliance Wars because that game mode is specifically for your alliance and not for your for yourself okay so that's mr Se negative for you in terms of eyes white because he applies so many negative effects skirmisher might be a possibility if you have him at low yellow stars and red stars but i'm gonna be honest from the testing i have done to this guy so far he never had any problems applying negative effects to the enemies and therefore, and because also he has a very, very strong basic attack, you might consider giving Striker Eyes Await for him. On top of doing additional damage with his basic attack, which we already saw is going to deal additional damage if he has multiple minions together with him. On top of all of that, if you have the Striker Eyes Await, that is going to increase the base stats of Mr. Negative, and that will also increase the stats of the minions. So your, your minions, your inner demons will also do additional damage because the base stats of Mr. Negative are also increased thanks to the Eyes Await Striker. This only happens for the Striker Eyes Await and for the Skirmisher Eyes Await. None of the other Eyes Awaits affect minions, only these two options. Okay, so that's Mr. Negative for you. Now let's take a look at some gameplay of this character and then we'll talk about the different game modes and my uh, what I see as viability for this character going forward. Now we're going to take a look at some gameplay with Mr. Negative and uh, I'm, I have to be honest, the results were quite surprising. So we're going to use Nobu, Mr. Negative, Spider-Man 2099, uh, what's her name, Spider Weaver and Emma Frost. These were the characters that we had available on RTA and yes, we are facing characters like Dr. Doom and uh, Red Dog. So I was a little bit scared about this, not exactly sure how it was going to play out, but it's RTA. I didn't, I didn't even thought that people were still playing RTA, which was a surprise. So we still have people playing RTA and uh, that was a great experience. It, the, the meta of the RTA is very different from the meta of uh, the typical Alliance Wars or Cosmic Crucible because you have to make decisions on demand and I really wish that we actually had some uh, leagues and tournaments of uh, real-time arena because this game mode in my opinion is awesome. 
Okay, so as you saw, we destroyed that uh, Doctor Doom instantly. It was just scary what we did with that uh, Doctor Doom. And now we are ignoring as much as possible to attack Red Hulk. We have OG Hulk, we have Red Hulk. And uh, OG Hulk he has ability block that we spread from Cloak. So this is the power of Mr. Negative. We apply all those negative effects to Cloak and then we spread them to uh, to OG Hulk. Now you can see that uh, all those minions that we have on the field, they are doing so much damage. They are actually super, super fast and uh, they actually do a lot of damage. And Mr. Negative with this basic dealing 70,000 damage. 70,000 damage is actually very, very high. And you can see that we just destroyed this team. This is a Red Hulk with Teal Gear and we were able to completely destroy him. And uh, yeah, I, I I honestly don't know what to tell you about this character. From his kit, it doesn't seem that he's that powerful, but when you take him into a match, it's just ridiculous what this guy can do. Now, we're going to take a look at a few more matches. This, is all this was all back to back. There is no editing or anything like that because the experience with Mr. Negative is just crazy, how powerful he is. And uh, yes, I have him paired up with uh, Spider Weaver and with Spider-Man 2099, because that's one of the possible combinations that you might see in Cosmic Crucible. Now, something I want you guys to remember is that Mr. Negative is a Mystic Controller. Yes, he's a Mystic Controller. So that means one of the best pairs for uh, Mr. Negative is going to be Loki. Loki, he reduces the resistance of the enemies and he also gives 10% speed bar to Mystic Controllers. So that's going to allow your Mr. Negative to go at 134 speed, which is incredibly fast. Okay, so we have a very, very powerful team. We have Red Hulk, we have Rogue, we have Spider Weaver, Omega Red, and uh, Enemy Emma Frost. So this is incredibly hard, but we are going to apply negative effects to all the enemy characters. We are going to try to get rid of the enemy Emma Frost, and uh, then we are going to ability block Rogue, and we are going to spread those negative effects to Omega Red. Look how powerful this guy is. Mr. Negative, he was mind controlling Rogue, to attack Omega Red and now because of that Omega Red is almost gone. So this is why I said it's a little bit problematic. Should you summon the minions first with Nobu? Should you use the ultimate first? Uh, because in a situation like the one we are right now, it's going to be more convenient for us to summon as many minions as possible. And one of the reasons it's because it's going to allow us to remove all the charges from Spider Weaver. Since we have so many characters, all those charges will just go away. And then the other reason it's because we have them as decoys. We are also increasing the damage on Mr. Negative. So this is a great moment in order for us to summon the minions. So there we go. You can see all the minions consuming all charges. Then we are going after Red Hulk, we're gonna try to remove him as fast as possible. There I used the ultimate of uh, Mr. Negative and uh, it didn't do much. Let's be honest, the ultimate of Mr. Negative doesn't do much. The fact it, that is a flip so late in the match, it's, it's not doing much. Spider Weaver once again being amazing, making sure that uh, Red Hulk failed his ultimate attack. But you can see that as soon as the minions have a turn, they die off because of the gamma radiation and that's fine it's a legendary character killing minions do you see any surprise there i don't but yeah with spider weaver i felt like uh, using her special and her basic attack together with with mr negative it was overall a plus because of all the additional effects we were applying to the enemies and also the amount of healing that we were providing for our allies so this combination is a great combination and I can definitely see these characters they have some huge value going forward. You can see all these punch crosses, punch ups in RTA, and the enemies don't have any chance. This combo is just too powerful. And uh, it's not only based on uh, Spider Man 2099 and Spider Weaver, but also the power of the special ability of, uh, of Mr. Negative. I'm very, very impressed with that special ability. I just wish I had the same to say about his ultimate. His ultimate so far, it has been disappointing, but maybe it's just because we didn't found the right situation where to use it. Maybe if we are facing the Gamma team and we need to flip all those death proofs, 
as a, a possibility against the Gamma. So, for example, use Eternals with Loki, Mr. Negative. Maybe on that specific situation, that will be a good thing because all of those death proofs that they have, you're going to flip all of them. Whether you flip them with Icarus or with, with Mr. Negative, it doesn't matter because one will complement the the order of rotation that you use with their abilities. So if you don't want to use the ultimate first with Icarus or you just don't have enough damage to activate all their death proofs, you can uh, after flip that with, uh, with Mr. Negative ultimate ability. So we can see right here, once again, we are applying tons and tons of negative effects to that death pool. And then we are going to spread them around. I didn't even see to who we spread it, if it was Lady Death Strike or if it was to Emma Frost, but whoever it was, it just disappeared. It was crazy. So there, Omega Red, he had some positive effects. We flip it with the basic of Emma Frost. And at this point, all the enemies are completely destroyed. The, the amount of negative effects that we are able to apply is just insane. And uh, like I said, the minions from Mr. Negative, those inner demons, it seems like they, are, they don't do much, but they are actually quite amazing. Okay, so this is another match that we win with Spider Weaver. We are protected from the attacks of Omega Red and all those counter attacks and so on, provided by Nobu, just destroy whoever tries to attack us. And now we go after Wolverine and Sabertooth, and that's pretty much it. So, so far, this character looks very, very powerful. Now, let's take a look at some gameplay of this character in, uh, in Dark Dimension to see exactly how he performs. Okay, so now let's take a look at some live action of uh, Mr. Negative and uh, Kingpin in, uh, in Dark Dimension. This is going to be on Dark Dimension 3. And this is just to give you an idea if it's going to be worth investing on Mr. Negative or not for Dark Dimension. While it's true that his cooldowns are very, very long, we might have enough protection coming out from um, Kingpin's minions in order to give a chance for Mr. Negative to... To, to get more turns and to be able to use his abilities more often. So let's take a look at this. The character more powerful here is Spider Weaver. She's a little bit uh, above the requirements for uh, for Dark Dimension 3. But as I mentioned, this, is, this might be a team that you'll see often enough on uh, on Cosmic Crucible. So it's important to take a, taking a look at it. Okay, so you can see right here that uh, we have the minions from Kingpin with Taunton with two death proofs, and we also have the minions from uh, Mr. Negative. This is the inner demon, I think, which is the one that uh, applies offense down. Okay, so I'm gonna do the basic here, just to try to apply as many negative effects as possible. Now I'm gonna attack Mordo just to make sure that, uh, that uh, minion doesn't die. Let's do the offense up, why not? We could also summon more minions with the Kingpin and all of those minions would have taunt. I just thought I just thought it was too early to do that. And now look at Mr. Negative with his special ability. So he summoned another minion and now we're going to spread all those negative effects. Let's take a look at that. Tons and tons of negative effects are going to be transferred from uh, the primary target to the character with the lowest speed, which in this case, it seems to be the enemy Kingpin. We have an assist from our own Kingpin, and look at that. The enemy Kingpin now has ability block and disrupt, offense down, and a ton of bleeds. Look at that, tons and tons of bleeds, heal block, disrupt, ability block, defense down, slow. This ability is just insane. Now, obviously, this is not gonna be as good for Cosmic Crucible, because uh, this is not gonna be as good for Dark Dimension, because we have so many enemies on the field, and we are only able to transfer negative effects from one character to another, so that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be like 20% uh, in Dark Dimension, but when you take a look at the context of Cosmic Crucible, Alliance Wars, and also Avengers Tower, that goes from 20% to 40%, which is a 100% increase in terms of value of how many negative effects you can spread to different characters. So it's definitely a game-changing ability, and now Kingpin is completely shut down, so we can use the special of Spider Weaver to heal up the entire team, and this is going to apply more defense subs and more offense subs to everyone, just giving them some increased viability. Once again, this is gear tier 14 characters, which is not great, especially at uh, uh, low stars. 
for a dark dimension. Okay, so now with Kingpin, we are going to summon his minions. All of them have uh, Taunt, all of them have Death Proof, and now Mr. Negative with his basic attack. Let's take a look at that massive damage that he's going to apply. 140,000, 140,000, level 75. He does more damage with his basic than Red Hulk does. It's literally insane. It's literally insane. Okay, so we're gonna slap a little bit more damage here. And that's pretty much it. So this is a great combination, especially because all these minions from Kingpin apply uh, vulnerabilities. And you can take advantage of that in order to do more abilities with uh, Mr. Negative. So let's apply ability block there to that, uh, to that uh, Pyro. Let's get rid of this Mordo. And uh, let's see if we can do one more ability. We can do the ultimate ability with, uh, with Mr. Negative. Let's slap that Shuri over there. And now with Mr. Negative, let's take a look at animation. Also, let's trigger the Isolate attack. So here we go, ultimate ability without a T4. It does a nice amount of damage. And uh, look at the Isolate attack, 120,000 with Isolate attack. So now let's attack with one of these minions. And this is why you have to balance out which characters you are going to use, because if you have way too many summoners, you might uh, just have your board overflow with uh, overflow yeah let's say overflow you might have your board to overflow with with characters and then you don't want you don't have the characters you actually need so be careful with that be make sure that uh, you don't have uh, way too many summoners otherwise that may be a problem for you okay so as you can see it works fairly well and because these characters the minions from uh, kingpin they can also activate their own taunt. I'm trying to see if one of them is going to have a turn. So you can see just that. So all those minions that we summoned, now they are going to taunt. So this is going to give increased viability for Kingpin and for Mr. Negative in Dark Dimension, especially because Mr. Negative also gives stats to Dark Old or Underworld. I'm not sure if it's only on Alliance Wars. Probably it's only on Alliance Wars. We can see that right now. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a great combination because they're all villains. They're also going to get increased uh, stats from the defense sub, offense sub. And they're also going to have a chance of assisting the same way that Nick Fury does with other allies and so on. And uh, we, have, we have all these minions with Taunt. Those are decoys that can be extremely useful in Dark Dimension. So that might be another viability or another possibility of using this character in a different game mode. Okay, so in conclusion, is Mr. Negative a character worth gearing up? Is Mr. is Mr. Negative a character that you should invest on? He's definitely a very, very interesting character. Based on his stats and based on his abilities, I don't think you need that much of investment. If you want to take him to level 75, gear tier 14, I think that's going to be fine. So you can get some experience with this guy. Based on his speed, based on his stats, based on his tags, once again, he's a Mystic Controller. That gives him additional viability in different game modes like Cosmic Crucible because you can pair him up with Loki, which is going to give him more turn meter on spawn. You can pair him up with Eternals. You can pair him up with Kimpin. You can pair him up with the Tangled Web, with Cloak and Dagger. You can pair this guy with so many characters that uh, he might not be the the one solution for all but he might be a character that in the right team is going to make a huge difference you could even play this character together with unlimited x-men yes with unlimited x-men and use the negative effects from rogue to spread them to another additional character so that's going to be ability block disrupt defense down slows heal block all that insane bullshit that rogue does with their special all of that spread to another additional character so this is a character that definitely has insane viability for game modes like uh, cosmic crucible alliance wars and avengers tower but with the right characters once again paired up with kingpin since they are both city characters it can also have some viability for dark dimension now, am I going to recommend this character for Dark Dimension 5? I'm not exactly sure yet. Definitely for Dark Dimension 3 and 4. For those, it's pretty safe to recommend this character. Once again, it's nicer paired up with Kingpin. And Kingpin, also because of his minions and the rework that he has, is also a decent character for Dark Dimension. Beyond that, for Dark Dimension 5, 
I don't know yet. I'm gonna test out this character a little bit more, and if I can invest in him a little bit further into gear, then uh, we might be able to test this out. Very, very unlikely because I don't want to gear up way too many characters because the next patch is coming very, very soon and you'll have a ton of characters to, to work on. So it's something that we'll see in the future, but so far, Mr. Negative, very, very promising. Once again, 100% five stars on Cosmic Crucible, Alliance Wars, and Avengers Tower, and with some decent possibility to be used in Dark Dimension and maybe in Arena. But in Arena, we'll see. We'll see if Dogbird is gonna make some nice videos about Arena. That guy is crazy, but uh, yeah, we cannot uh, all invest uh, all the way to the characters. At least I cannot afford it. If someone can afford it, go ahead and do that, and then you'll use the information in order to improve our gameplay. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mr. Negative, not so negative, quite positive with all the viability that he has in Marvel Strike Force. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you found the information helpful, make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. And I will catch you guys later.